guys, it's Firebird from the TCN, and I'm here with Logan. Um, this is a follow-up to a video, uh, which, on, which is on Logan's private channel. Um, <coughs> Logan, stop moving. An annotation will be right here, right in the middle of my cursor. Go ahead and see his channel. Go watch this video, because I'm not going to explain what's going on here. There is a video previous to this that will explain to you what we're working on today. But before I get this, started, this video started off... There's something I really need to show you guys that a lot of people do know about, but they kind of just look over, and it's what I use in a lot of my redstone builds. It's inverted redstone power. Okay? This is very important. Like, okay. When a redstone torch is on a block, and like any point, if redstone power is sent into that block, that torch on top of it will be powered off. At like any point. Look. This is important. This you need to know. This you don't need to... Don't overlook this if you're going to become a redstoner. You want this. this is if important. you're going to become a stoner. Yes, if you're going to become a stoner. Don't this avoid the, the dust. Yeah, the dust is important. Like, you also need the sticks, too. Yes, I just said that. You need to chop them up, There too. is also this method of re reverse redstone power, but I don't use inverted redstone like that. So, Except on to the actual build itself. Basically, today we're working on this. Um, hey, let me take teams. out some of these trees real quick, so I can see it like fully. This is for if you watched the video previous to this, which you should have. There was an annotation. You should have gone and watched it. Just saying. Um, basically, we're gonna be working on setting up teams for a like mini games kind of thing. Yeah, for vanilla mini games, we're working on these a lot now. This map will be set up. This map will be set up in. Not map. This, ah, uh, ah. Uh, this video will be set up into three parts. Um, in the description, there will be like the little times to skip to there. different parts if you know what to do first. There. Now but look at the first. Video. Okay. Look at now. I got rid of the trees. First, we're gonna work on the three players side part of the build. So we'll go over here, grab the blocks we need. I'm gonna need piston, sand, okay. blocks, redstone block and that should be all also i need to go grab a button and i just want to let you guys know um i well obviously i'm here but like um i'm not a redstone guy i'm the one who actually sets up the command box for um the tcn i do all the grouping and everything like that so like see basically if, guys he's a glorified command guy see like if you click tab real quick i just i set up a um group that automatically goes through a button and you can clear your team and everything like that it's in the other video you can come check it out and I did all that kind of stuff so <laughs> that's okay, all I did first off we're gonna set up the three people per team idea uh, this works with like any amount of people on a team if you understand what I mean by this well hopefully you will by the end of the video basically it's a super simple contraption that's gonna have you just pushing three sand into this redstone block and eventually being pushed it will power the redstone after three clicks the idea is after every person pushes it they're going to be teleported away and then the next person to push it so that oh uh, wait yeah but after three people you initially won't have any more um you will no longer allowed be able to put people on that team and we, um, I just want to let you guys know, Zach actually um, figured this out through this, like this system right here, on one of our maps, which has not been posted yet. I don't even know if Zach still has it. Yeah, I don't. I don't. It's, yeah, well, it should be still in the files. But after three clicks, as you see now, after three clicks, the power torch will go off. And how we originally built it is so that it was a button right here, and after the three clicks, it was a little wall like this. Yeah, the pressure plate, it like, um... The pressure plate was in there, and they could no longer access the pressure plate because, like, they couldn't walk through. Originally, it would have been like this, and they could walk through. But that's besides but, the point. But I'm pretty sure they actually did change up command box to where they're better, um, AI than they used to be, like, because usually when you click a button, you, one player would get the rank, and then, um, the other player would get teleported. Anyways. <laughs> so, next off, you're gonna set it up so that right here like somewhere in here let's fix this real quick sorry oh, i was just gonna explain to them the um teams 
part. Okay. So you're going to set it up so that also right here will be stemming off. How did I do this at the build? You put redstone right here. Yeah. I think. Yeah. No. Wait, um, did, wait. No, you didn't. I don't guys, know give did. us a second, and we'll be <laughs> back in a second. Um, here, I can check it out real quick. Um, yeah, just jump over there. You put it, you actually, like, put the block, like, oh, I see how you did it now. It's obvious. I don't know why we didn't try this in the beginning. Um, we did this. Oh, yeah, because there's a wall there. Yeah. There's a wall right here. Okay, guys, welcome back. Basically, what we had set up was there was a wall here, and you just had it powering off right here. So if I click the button? Basically, marks. we're just being silly. Yeah. So over <laughs> here, you want to set up two... Oh, I just grabbed out. Anyways, you want to set up two command blocks right here. They will be stemming off to either side or straight forward. And right here, these command blocks. Logan, could you set them down while I go make space for the other ones? Yeah, you want me to type in the commands too? Yeah, and I'll show them what they are at too. All commands will be written down in the description just for your easy, like you don't have to pause right on the thing. But um, We'll name the command blocks too as well, so it'll be easier for you guys to know which one's which and everything. Okay, simply this one of these command blocks is going to put you on a team and the other one's going to tell, tell the person who's getting on the team that they are now in whatever team they are joining. Over here, there will be command block right here that is going to be, as soon as this redstone power is powered, saying that the team is completely full, it will say this team is now full, and they will know, and just to, and like a server say, it will tell you that this team is full. There. I just set up all the um, commands over here. For this one, it is going to be adding you to the team, your teams, for with scoreboard, which is a vanilla command. If, in case anybody's confused by that. This one is one, and this one is two. Okay, now two is going to be telling you that you are now on blue team, because you just joined team blue. And to prove that it works, um, Zach, will we come over here and press the button? Yes. yes I'm in, already on blue team, so... You are now on team blue, and if I click tab, you'll see my name is now blue. So let's show them the clear how to clear the teams, but like if they... Did they test that out and everything like that? So oh, they'll get they'll get that from the video, but like you can go ahead and clear them. Yeah. But on to the next part, which would be the dropping. Or. Okay, guys, we're here with the dropping part aspect of the video, and this would take me forever to build out for you guys so I'm just gonna see I'm gonna actually explain to you guys from the build itself just showing you how you're gonna be building it first off with your first three blocks they're gonna be right here as you just we just build over there and for the resetting underneath you see this and all this other work this will be explained later on with the resetting part so don't get distracted by that it's not important right now Basically, for the dropping reset, you're just gonna have a, you're just gonna have the one build up, and then right above that, you're gonna have powered, two, like reverse power. I use the reverse flip thing right here that I don't like very much, but it's just how I could get upwards. That's on that block, and then onto the top, and then on the side. Basically, you're gonna have this held out no matter what. And then on the other side of this is a button. But Come build it over here so they can you can just build it. I'll build it with you. Okay. Make sure that I can just explain it. it the building's okay. going to take us forever to build, like literally. Oh well. Through here, there's going to be a button that powers the this. And as, it, as it's powered, it's going to release the sand and drop onto the next layer. This will all be through into the like dispensing area. I don't know what to call it. But this will drop down and completely reset it so that you can use it again for the next time. But for the next one, it's kind of a long journey up. You're going to have to build it up. I think it's about 30 blocks up. You will have it so that it drops. So that you need a time limit of 3 seconds before the piston launches out again. The 30... I think, yeah, it's 30 block drop. 30 block drop, and I think I even have like a... Yes, this is on three ticks too. By the way, you need that's that's important right there. <laughs> Pay attention.
attention to this. It's important. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's important. Um, you're just going to have it 30 blocks up in the same contraption built up here so that the sand will drop back to here so that it'll be ready to just drop down for the next one. Remember, this is set up for three-time use. Just three-time. And if you would like for like a four-time use, five-time use, you just keep adding the same build to the top of it, which would take you quite a while. Yeah, so, there's, remember, you got to have a certain amount of blocks as well before you reach the end of the world up there. Yeah, you have the block limit for the top of the world. So, now that you have a basic understanding of the dropping, we'll move on to the... Um, Resetting. Yeah, resetting of the build. We don't. We I, well. I'm gonna explain this one. Um, we don't actually have like the command blocks set up to where they actually TP the people back to the spawn or anything like that. We just have them set up to where um, they pretty much leave and then they say thanks. Um, seems resetting. So pretty much what it does. Actually, I'll just let Zachary explain the rest because that's all I want to explain. Okay. So what's simply gonna happen here is. When you click the reset button every time, it will do the drop thing that I explained earlier, but I was explaining that as a separate part. But that is actually all together with the reset button, which would be right in here. There's the reset button, it's all powering this whole reset mechanism. As the reset is powering the drop mechanism, it will be also powering command blocks that are telling, norm in a normal basis they would be, what would they be doing, Logan? Um, they're removing the per person from the group and telling them, telling all um, players that the um, teams have been wiped. So, like, say you're done with the game and then you just want to... I'm actually going to make it to where it clears everyone's inventory as well. So, like, they say after the mini game or something like that that you guys make... Um, oh, wait. Okay. It also will send them back to the, like, spawn lobby point. Yeah, like... So it will um, give. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Um, it will give the. Um, it will clear the player's inventory. It will um, message them. I mean, message all players saying that um, teams have been. What? You're just repeating yourself now. All right, sorry. I'm keep getting distracted. Well, yeah, you understand what it does. It just teleports and does like that. Clear Basically, yourself. just setting you back to the basic start of the game. So Zach, you might want to show the third and fourth um, command block commands. This is three. for, um, this is only for the things, like for, um... This is telling you that the game is being reset. Basically, it's saying, give it a moment so that this can all reset. Number four is just kicking everybody from their team so that they can, like, if we click the button right now, we'd both be kicked from Team Blue. I'm actually going to click the button. Just... Now the power goes down into the next part, which would be the resetting the sand. After three clicks, this sand would actually be dropped down. I mean, pushed over. Could you go to the reset button? The sand yeah, button? Just, you push can it. just watch it. Just yeah, watch it. Just see it. it. Never mind, I just broke it. Oh, well, I was going to click the button anyway, so boom. Apparently, okay. the team's full. This would be the ending position after three people have clicked it. After, after this, after the game is done, and your three people have already pushed it, you would want to reset this so they can play again. Like so, after the game is done only, not like when the um, cause you the way you just explained it, saying that um, they can after everyone's chosen their team, they can reset it. But don't do that. No, I'm don't. saying like once <laughs> the game is over, reset. Okay, so you want me to reset it? Um, no, not yet. I'm gonna explain it first. Okay. Right. Basically, you have your same from the reset button. You run down power to a inverted redstone power. Unpowering these pistons will will just drop them into a depth of death and this, this does have a time limit on it as well this sand will die dead so, sand right. and then also as you see the redstone block will be have to be pushed forward with a oh yes and you have to make sure you have this tick down you need this piston tick down or it will push the sand over and then you'll get a four pile up right there and then one block stuck right there but you don't want that it's happened before we've actually that's the first video that we recorded for um the Oh, My channel kind of glitched out. <laughs> this needs to be a four tick right here, too. You have to have this all powered up. So, um, and then that's really all. It'll reset itself, and you can just keep playing.
And I just want to make sure that you guys know this. Um, the thing that we built over there with the redstone, with um, the command blocks, these are actually the command blocks, so I didn't rename them. It's the same commands, it's the same corner as you can, you can probably see right here. But then they have these just extra stuff. Um, yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoy. Go, as always, go to Logan's channel, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. If you guys want to see more of our map building, if you want to see more of our redstone work, my redstone work, if you want to see more of whatever's on his head right now, <laughs> like, Yo, I mean, oh. here, here, here. if you guys are completely interested in this kind of stuff, <laughs> just go, go ahead and like and subscribe. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. And oh, wait, wait, time out, time out. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not letting them choose if they're going to subscribe. They're going to subscribe because we work really hard on this kind of stuff. Go subscribe. You, Go. you guys don't have to do it unless you want to. Logan's just a pooba. <laughs> we work so hard. remember, For don't forget intent. about inverted exactly. power. It's like one of the most important things I use. It's big. Logan, Logan, look. This is our babies merging. Redstone and command blocks are just... They're together. I think this, I think this is going to be our symbol for our YouTube channel. Whenever me and Logan are alone, this is our symbol. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. You I'm guys, cool. you guys just witnessed something. Goodbye, everybody.